sinusoidal steady state analysis of RLC circuit. In this RLC circuit example, the circuit is in sinusoidal steady state or SSS. Uh, a voltage source cosine 2 times 10 to the 6 T, in which omega is 2 times 10 to the 6 radian per second, uh, is given in series with resistor R, um, 0.5 kilo ohm, and then inductor L, in, uh, capacitor C1, and before the closure of the switch S, they are all in series with capacitor C2. Um, the first part of the question is find the SSS current and voltage for C2. To do that, um, as is given, we are assuming that the circuit is in sinusoidal steady state, and because of that, we can um, have the equivalent steady state circuit in which cosine phase is zero, so we have um, amplitude one, phase zero for cosine, and then we have resistor R, which is 0.5 um, kilo ohm, and then we have inductor L uh, with XL, which is impedance, J omega L, and then we have capacitor C1, represented by XC1, which is 1 over uh, J omega C1. And finally, we have uh, capacitor C2, which is represented by impedance XC2, which is 1 over J omega C2. So that would be the equivalent circuit in a steady state mode. And we need to find these impedances. So X of L is J omega L, which is J times um, 2 10 to the 6. L is 0.77 millihenry. This results in J uh, 1540. Then we have XC1, which is 1 over J omega C1. That is 1 over J 2 times 10 to the 6. Um, C1 is 12.5 times 10 to the minus 9 farad. So it results in minus J um, 40 and XC2 is 1 over J omega C2 which is 1 over J 2 times 10 to the 6 times uh, 0.25 10 to the minus 9 farad which result in minus J 2000. So as a result the circuit is just simplified to um, in a steady state to this. Uh, we have 500 uh, ohm resistor and then we have the equivalent series of these three impedances is just sum of these guys which is as simple as just um, minus J500. So that is our circuit. The current through this circuit, I, is now easy to compute. So the current is just uh, equal to voltage divided by total impedance, so, uh, or Z. So it is um, just one phase zero. 500 uh, 1 minus J. So that would be uh, the current which is easy to simplify in amp and uh, for now to find the voltage across C2 we just need to multiply this current with the impedance of C2. So V of C2 is just I times um, X of C2 or Z of C2, which means um, 1, 0, 500, 1 minus J times minus J 2000. And this translates to um, uh, 2 times 1 minus uh, J, if you simplify it, which is equivalent to 2 times uh, square root 2 
phase minus 45 degree if you want to represent it with phasers. So that would be the current and this is the voltage uh, across capacitor C2 in a steady state. Uh, if you represent it in time domain that would mean 2 times square root of 2 cosine omega t uh, minus phase of 45 degree represented in degree not radian here uh, omega is 2 times 10 to the 6 radian per second so that would be the answer for 1 and this is of course in um, um, uh, easy to compute here so now if we go to number 2 if switch s is closed at a certain certain time t t less than 5 uh, less than pi second greater than 0 then the capacitor current I, um, IC will not contain an impulse function. Find the value of T. When switch S is closed, this node is shorted to this node. Effectively, the voltage across capacitor will become equal to the voltage across the source. Uh, in order to avoid any impulse, the voltage of the capacitor C2 in a steady state should be exactly equal to the voltage of the source right before the closure of the switch. Otherwise, because um, the, the because of the relationship between current and voltage of capacitor, um, which is the current is C dV dt, so C times uh, derivative of the voltage. If there is a jump in voltage because of the, if there is a difference between the voltage of capacitor and the source right before the closure of the switch. After the closure of the switch, these two voltages are forced to be equal. So there is a jump in the value of voltage of capacitor uh, right at the moment of closure of the switch, which means this goes to infinity. That's why it will result in an impulse in the current if the voltage of capacitor is not equal to the voltage of the source right before the closure of the switch. So we need to find time t at which naturally the voltage of capacitor is equal to the voltage of the source. So let's make that assumption that um, uh, voltage of the source at time t equal to t is equal to voltage of C2 at time t equal to t, capital T. So voltage of the source is um, cosine um, omega t, that's at time T capital capital T and voltage of the source is uh, 2 square root of 2 cosine omega capital T uh, minus 45 degree um, you can rewrite rewrite this in the form of cosine omega T is equal to this is equivalent to 2 time cosine omega T uh, plus 2 time um, sine omega T Okay, now um, this result in um, 2 sine omega t is equal to minus cosine omega t, which means uh, tangent omega t is equal to minus 0.5. Okay, so uh, this means um, omega t is just simply arc 10 um, minus 0.5 which means um, omega uh, t now I'm going to replace omega with 2 times 10 to the 6 radian per second times t is equal to this thing is roughly 153.4 divided by 180 times pi which translates to uh, T, cap, capital T time is roughly 1.34 microseconds.